Hi, I'm Scott with Window Cleaning Warehouse, and today we're going to take a look at the 525 litre compact system. Now, the 525 is available in a few versions. This is the RO option, which is a four stage filter, uh, filtration system. It's also available as a delivery only system or with DI only filtration. Now, this particular system has a sediment and a carbon filter on the bottom, then it runs through this 40 inch uh, membrane before finally hitting the DI vessels. Now the DI vessels here are not fixed to the system so when having this installed you'd have those fitted elsewhere in the van. You'll see just on the bottom here these two clamps allow you to fix them in place uh, generally around to the rear of the system or around to the side depending on how it's fitted in the vehicle. With this 525 litre compact system you also have the option to have manual or powered hose reels this is a double operator system, so two, uh, two reels, and they're both manual. With that, you also have two pumps, two flow controllers, and two sets of hose. On these manual hose reels, there's 100 meters of 8 mil hose, and hose lock connections, so you just simply connect your pole up, and away you go. With the RO version of this 525 system, you have the option to either have the inlet on the system itself, or you can connect it with the underport, so you're able to fill the vehicle uh, fill the system while the vehicle is locked. This particular version is a double operator system. So the, on the way into the tank, you fill through the RO system. So you have the sediment, the carbon, and then the membrane. Sitting in the tank then is pure, partly pure water. So water that's been through the RO. On the way out of the tank, as you're using it, it's then running through the two DI vessels, one for each operator. Each operator then has an uh, individual DI vessel, pump, and hose reels. You can also control the system with two flow controllers, one for each operator, which then controls the two pumps. The profile of the 525 litre tank is very similar to the 725. It's flat on the top and you'll notice just on the front it slopes off here and that's where the hose reels are always fitted. The tank itself is 71 centimetres tall. With the hose reels that takes it to just over 1.1 metres. The width of the system is 97 centimetres, so just under a metre, and it's 1.47 centimetres long, so nearly a metre and a half long. It'll fit in most uh, mid-sized vehicles. Any smaller vehicles, it, it may fit. However, you're gonna wanna check the dimensions versus what's available in the back of your van. Not only that, you wanna check the available payload as when it's full, this is gonna be approximately six to 700 kilos. With this system, you have the option to have it installed at one of our regional depots or one of our service centers started around the country. Alternatively, you can install this yourself. We're able to deliver them anywhere in the UK free of charge. The install is just done by bolting the fitting plate around this lip on the base of the system and that will bolt through the floor and hold that in place. With any of the compact systems when choosing the RO option, fitted on the, just on the inside of the tank here is the float valve. Now what that will do is cut the flow of water off when the tank reaches full so as not to overfill your tank. The 525 comes fitted as standard with a split charge relay which can connect up to your vehicle battery allowing you to put power back into the system as you're covering miles in the van. This unit is a four stage RO system. The first three stages are here. Now this is the sediment filter, the carbon filter, and here we have the RO membrane. Now the RO membrane is the item that gets changed the least on an RO system. In a hard water area, you might need to change this every say 12 months or so. Uh, in a soft water area, they can, can last longer, but that can vary quite heavily depending on how much is being used and how hard or soft the water is being input. These two filters here are, re are relatively inexpensive to change and so we do advise changing these regularly because what they're going to do is some of the purification but actually the bulk of what they're doing is protecting the membrane from fouling early. So changing those regularly is going to be a benefit. The final stage is these DI vessels. These DI vessels will need changing regularly. There's one per operator so if one operator is being used more so than the other then you may find one will need changing before the other. Um, you can change these just by using loose deionizing resin, uh, which is available via our website. So behind this faceplate is where the electrical components for the system are kept. The leisure battery, which is a lead acid battery, is held here. The split charge relay, and this is what connects the leisure battery directly to your vehicle, allowing you to put charge back into that battery as you drive. The two flow controllers here, one for each operator, one connected to each pump, and behind here also the pumps and strainers. If you ever need to access these, you can do so just by undoing these bolts. To turn the system on, you use the up arrow. That will take you to a flow, which will give you a reading of how fast or slowly the pump is going to be flowing uh, water through. You can then control that just by using the up and down arrows. 
To check the reading on the battery, you press this return arrow and this will tell you the vo voltage left in it. And to turn the system off, you just hold this return arrow for three seconds. So those are the primary workings of the 525 system. That was an introduction to the 525 litre compact system. For more information, take a look at our website. Thank <laughs> you.